My name is Melissa Thorson Hawes, and I am uh, Associate Professor of Art History in the Visual Arts Department. I majored in studio art as an undergraduate at Belhaven. It was Belhaven College back then, and so I was a practicing artist, but then I got more and more interested in art history as a discipline and in thinking and writing about art um, in addition to making it, and so I, uh, my graduate studies were in the area of art history, and that sort of took on a life of its own and became my career direction, so that's how I ended up as an art history professor. But I'm so thankful and delighted to be a part of a studio department, to be an art historian working amidst practicing artists, both my colleagues, professional artists, and students who are aspiring artists, because I love the creative interchange and the dialogue, and I love seeing how the discipline of art history helps these practicing artists understand their own craft better and grow and be able to express more with more nuance and subtlety because they understand more about the history of where their work comes from. After trying for a number of years to pursue work as a practicing artist alongside teaching art history and all the other things that one has in life, that wasn't working out so well, but um, music uh, settled into my life more deeply and it became something that I could do even with um, all these other responsibilities and it grew and grew until it really has become my creative passion and uh, writing songs for me is the place where I do my making. I don't make visual things but I make songs that have words and music and rhythm um, and it's, again, working with practicing visual artists is such a rich source of inspiration and of encouragement and critique. As they talk about their art, um, I talk about my art with them too, and, and I learn so much from their wisdom as artists and art teachers to help me with my practice of songwriting and singing. The beginning of a song can come from a number of different places. Some of my songs are um, or arise out of personal experience, maybe difficult experiences or beautiful experiences. Um, some of them take as their inspiration just a, a simple thing of everyday life, maybe something that I've observed, uh, which is certainly something that, that songs can have in common with visual art because uh, works of visual art likewise often take as their point of departure just ordinary things that normally we overlook, but um, a work of art can make you see it better. and so. Uh, some of my songs try to do that. Um, others might take inspiration from biblical stories, um, sort of exploring how motifs found in the stories of the Bible uh, play themselves out in contemporary life. Um, they're very personal. They, um, I, feel, I feel like my songs need to arise directly from personal experience in order to be authentic. Um, I want to stay away from generalization as much as possible and really deal with those complex, paradoxical things in life that we struggle with and that we don't find easy answers for, and yet we have to live in the tension of not completely understanding. The, mystery, the mysterious, the mystery of life is something that I feel is very central to the kinds of themes that I write about. I feel more of a sense of urgency to somehow express the the experiences and struggles that I go through in the hopes that that will speak to people out there who themselves are experiencing things that are hard to make sense of. And so for the last two, three years, I've really been focusing intensively on, on writing these songs, developing this body of work, uh, which I am now so thrilled to be able to present in this setting, surrounded by the beautiful work by my colleagues. I hope that um, my songs can give people permission to ask questions and give people permission to admit feelings that maybe we're told we shouldn't feel or are uncomfortable to talk about or we would rather not feel, but if they're in there, we have to be honest and face what's really in our hearts and uh, how we're responding to life in various ways. And so I, I know that that is what good music and good songwriting has done for me my entire life long, is to give me permission to feel. And so I want to make that available to my listeners. I want these songs to be accessible to listeners who may not embrace Christianity or may not know the Bible or, or may not want that. Um, because what I'm speaking to is universal human experience. As I said, giving people permission to admit questions and feelings that 
are difficult to face. And so that's something that we all share as human beings. And um, of course, I, as a follower of Jesus, I view all of that in direct relation to him and, and his, his uh, centrality to everything about me and my life. But um, I want that to come through more implicitly rather than explicitly in these songs that I'm writing. I think that our emphasis on learning authentic process is the thing that is most unique to our program and also the thing that is most important in any artistic endeavor, whether it be visual or musical or anything. Um, learning to listen to your materials, listen to your subject matter, whether you're working with sounds or whether with colors and forms. Um, learning to perceive carefully, learning awareness, learning to really see what is around you and to see what's happening in the work as you're making it and respond to it, to not force the work into a direction that is not going to be productive, that it's not going to want to go in where um, it's going to fail in its level of, of sensitivity and authenticity, but rather to listen and give it time, the emphasis on time and the slowness in a way of process. It's really not so slow in the grand scheme of things, but to us it feels slow sometimes because we live in a culture that thinks everything has to be instantaneous. But uh, really, um, in, you know, in the bigger picture, we're creatures of time and of development and of process and everything takes time. And we might as well just relax into that and lean into that and um, enjoy and embrace the time that is required for any creative process to grow and mature. And that's something that we place a, a really high value on here in this department and we encourage our students to, to think that way about uh, developing their own voice and growing as artists themselves. So I think that's really um, foundational for us and would be a great reason to come here. Until